Now, he's an amputee athlete going for the knockout. Former Marine Sergeant Eric Morante is fighting for a life with no limitations. I got a chance to train with him. Take a look. In this corner, 4 0 in the ring, Iron Fist! No limitations. And in this corner, stepping into the ring for the very first time, Jabbing Jamie! Just like the greatest, fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. From the waist up, this lean, mean fighting machine looks just like everyone else. But on April 20th, 2007, during his third tour of duty in Iraq, Marine Sergeant Eric Morante and the other seven men in his squad were hit by a suicide bomber. My squad was on the overpass of a bridge and we were hit by a suicide bomber that came underneath the bridge and detonated a dump truck that had 3,000 pounds of explosives 15 feet underneath where we were stationed. I ended up waking up, I sat up, uh, was covered in debris, so I ended up pushing a piece of concrete that was from the bridge off of me. I looked down at my hand, my hand was mangled. I lost some teeth and I looked down at my leg and my boot heel was L-shaped and my foot was basically by my hip. His leg was so badly mangled, it had to be amputated. Eric's road to recovery was long and not easy. I was 22 years old, three combat tours, you know, freshly young man. Searching to have a new normal, Eric, now retired from the military, turned to a sport he loved as a kid. Boxing gave me my determination, my drive, my same ambition that I carried that I had throughout my training in the Marine Corps career. But he quickly found out he couldn't step into a regular ring. Because of the fact that I was missing a limb at the time, we tried to get back into the boxing world and it was never heard of and it never been done before. And that gave me the push to even do it even, even more. So he helped organize the National Amputee Boxing Association so he could box and share the sport he loves, even with folks like me who's never tried it. He's excited. <laughs> we'll take it slow. <laughs> normally yeah, come yeah. on good Perfect. <laughs> yeah you're getting answers you're basically aiming for here but you're gonna hit the pad does it hurt when you get hit in oh, the face most definitely <laughs> that's it good again good. i gotta quit hitting you so hard this hurts double jab <sighs> good that's it you're done. you're done i may look nice she's mean <laughs> that was just a warm-up just like this boxer normally trains we jump rope wrap our wrist hit the heavy bag practice the bob and weave, then one-on-one -on -one training with Coach Nass. Come on, Iron Fist. How come you're not talking smack to him? I'm working. <laughs> it's all now. He looks nice, right? It's my turn to go one-on-one -on -one with Coach. Your job is to hit me. Is but is this going to hurt my hand when I hit that? Is this what happens in a real fight? Yep. Yep. I've never hit anybody like this before! <laughs> now for Eric and I to go at it. Chicken? <laughs> Trust me, Eric is taking it very easy on me. His prosthetic leg doesn't bend, which makes it even more difficult to box. I wanted to face those fears and put me back on that same drive that I had before, that same determination, because somewhere along the way I lost it and boxing brought me back to it. In his bob and weave stance, he's basically balancing on one leg. I tried it and as I found out, it's really tough to balance on one leg and punch at the same time. Those are your That's hard. Right on the chin. In the ring and out, this champ, this hero, is punching through life with no limitations. What a cool yeah. story. Yeah. yeah. Eric is joining us now. First of all, thank you so much for your service to our country. And what a trailblazer you are, by the way. I mean, were you surprised that there weren't opportunities for you as a boxer simply because of your limb? At the time, yes, most definitely. I was super surprised. I was actually uh, shocked that there was nothing that existed here in the United States. This is great, though, because you're opening the door yeah. for exactly. other people exactly. to be able to have opportunities. And that's exactly what we're trying to shoot, uh, shoot for is that now that kids that are growing up with amputations or have some type of disability, 
they have that goal or they have that mindset to open up now because those doors are available for them to go to combatives if they want to. Well, I, I was so surprised we were talking about the Paralympics. This isn't a, an event in the Paralympics yet. And you're hoping maybe, maybe it'll happen. We're pushing for it so that way I can be in Tokyo, be able to fight and to, uh, to represent the country. I mean, what better way of having the original games as Paralympics? That would be having, fantastic. Yeah. Now, today you've brought a dummy along. Uh, these gloves have... <laughs> Made us want to punch they, they them. They just definitely. feel really tough, don't they? So we've, Especially we've, mine being pink. We've taught Jab and JB a couple of moves already, so we're going to go ahead and uh, my turn. Let, let her showcase a little bit, and then, you and then that way. Do you want me to show us that first? Show a little, little something. You better hold it tight. I you know, it. I got it. Jab and JB don't mess she don't around. Play. She don't play. So we're okay, gonna, so I'm left-handed. Do the jab, right to the face. Oh, to the face? Let's do it to the face. Bam. Just like you popped me the other day. Pop. Yeah, yeah, by the way, how's your nose? Doing great. Still on. I love when you asked if it hurts when you get hit in the face, by the way. We can talk about that later. I want you to learn how to do this, though. I mean, you got to come in and, and give it a try. Okay, Eric, Ready? so tell me how to do this. Start off with your left, go straight to the face, and then follow up with the number two right, on, right behind it. Bam. There you go. Now give me one of the body right here. Take his air out. All the way out. There you go. Oh, that one. Oh, he's done. See? Wait. Yes, I'm oh, too strong. <laughs> the fight. Almost knocked the dummy over. But I was surprised when, when we were training. There, the tremendous technique that goes in. I mean, you're not just punching. You no. got to make sure you're keeping your wrists nice and tight. The, and wrists, it, it, the wrists have to be tight. Your feet have to be planted. Uh, and it's a little bit of a twist, right? right like most when definitely. You, when you so go in, it's when sort you of... come inside of it, when you set to plant that punch, you have to rotate your whole leg. This right leg pivots outwards, so the body energy comes straight and it releases right here. So it's it's just not like just an empty punch. Your whole exactly. body. It's just, just like electricity. Electricity through. has to find the ground out to make its way out, and then that's where the punch comes. So, out. Eric, we got to tell everybody about the event that's coming up. Uh, yes, tomorrow we'll be fighting under the Lou Savarisi promotion. Apparently we got a new Rocky right here, by the I'm way. You, this would be a great, great yeah, match. So it's up. tomorrow. It starts at 5.30, goes until 10 p.m. It is at Silver Street Studios. going to be a big event. Now, this Definitely. also benefits the Lone Star Foundation? Yes, sir. Marcus Luttrell is going to be down here, and we, it's veterans helping veterans. So the organization is, is a nonprofit that Marcus started, and we're going to go out there and showcase and open up the show for them. And that's the Lone Survivor Foundation. Lone Survivor. Lone yes. Survivor. Lone Fantastic. Survivor and sanctioned event. I mean, this is you're going big time. Yeah, most definitely. We uh, we definitely need the support of the Houston community, so that way, like I said, we can have that city behind us and push forward and do great things. For and then after that event, there's another big one coming up over in San Antonio. one March 18th, which is actually going to be the first world title for amputees. I'll be fighting for a belt, so... We'll, we'll put, we'll put oh, you're, gonna, you're, gonna you're going the, for the uh, knockout. You places. are. In the Paralympics, we're rooting for you. That's next. Certainly 2020, are. hopefully. Gotta happen. Gotta happen. Hey, we also have to thank uh, uh, Fight Fitness Houston. Oh, That's definitely. where we were training, and it's yeah. such a cool spot. You got to check Zara it out. is a great coach, and he trains uh, any fighter, any cool. fighter, female or male. Eric Morante. Morante. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, sir. Ra. Good luck to you. Yes, now, you. for more information on the National Amputee Boxing uh, Association, you can check out National Amputee Boxing Association. Org. Sorry, I'm getting so and make sure you follow Eric on social media. You can check him out. It's Eric, Mor uh, Eric underscore Morante. Awesome, dude. Definitely. Thanks so much. Yes,